This programme is about preparing to be a great leader. Behind me is a statue of Abraham Lincoln, a great leader. In this programme, we'll be exploring all the issues around how to prepare to become a great leader. We'll be visiting a selection of guests who are all passionate about leadership and then going to a leadership training centre in the Lake District where we'll discuss all the issues relating to preparing to become a great leader in detail. This programme is about preparing to become a great leader. How do you prepare to become a great leader? I think it starts in initial training and we introduce people to um, the, uh, the basics of leadership and then developing it and I think looking at people's potential, because not everyone's going to be a great leader here, uh, looking at people's potential and realising who are the guys who have really got something different. Get up early in the morning. <laughs> I think you take advice from some of those business advisors and listen to them and treat yourself to a stylist as well too. You know, looking good is one part of being good because let's face it, if you dress to impress, you can actually impress yourself as well too. So look a million dollars, you can feel a million dollars. Right, I think, I think if it, you're as clear as that right in the beginning, you say, I want to be a great leader right at the yes. beginning, uh, there are a number of things. You, you do need to make sure you're known and recognised and that your achievements are, in the, are, are seen for what they are and that your role in them is properly recognised and every situation is up for interpretation so you want to make sure your interpretation, your spin on it uh, is the one that gets So this is quite political dominant. isn't it, it's a political game. This programme is about preparing to become a great leader. How do you prepare to become a great leader? I think one of the ways you prepare is to list what you admire in the leaders that you know, you've worked with, or read books about. But just as importantly, list what you don't like about the people and then work out what are going to be your principles that you're going to adhere to as a leader of the business. We've all got to start somewhere, haven't we? Um, we've all got to dip our toe in the water and, and, and move forward. And maybe we don't want to draw attention to that. If, that. if that is our intention to be a leader, we don't want to draw attention to our, maybe our inadequacies and the fact that we're, we're not particularly adept at it. But hey, that's, that's the learning cycle, if you like. And we will make the mistakes as we go along. That all goes into the, if you look, that all goes into the bank account. I don't think there's any harm in you know yeah. admitting that you're a learner and, and that you, you know, when you make mistakes. I mean, I think that proves you're human, yeah. and that's you know part of the Absolutely. quality of a good leader. I think so. And ask for help. Yeah. 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 If you ask yeah. for help, people are only too keen to. But what a lot of people do is think, I need to look like I know what I'm doing. I mean, we've talked about yeah. a lot in this programme, yeah. but I think if you were to boil it down, I mean, I would say, what, what can you practically do? One, very consciously make the decision, I want to get better at leadership and, you know, acknowledge all the kind of difficulties yes. and challenges and enjoyment that that will bring. You know, yes. Make that conscious decision. And then you have a plan, so you get on with it. You know, yes. just put yourself in situations incrementally, stretching your comfort zone, as we've been talking about, and you just keep trying to get better and better and better through real experience. And, and to build on your last point, if you can put around you a network of teacher, people, that are coaches that are kind of a, an independent voice that can kind of give you feedback on how you're doing along the way and give you guidance, then that's, yes. that's a fantastic, very practical thing to do. Um, you know, to have those people around you to support you as you go through the, the challenges. That In you terms have. of supporting us, let's go and see if, if Roy can support us with, um, with, with this. Um, ah. Right, what can you practically do to prepare to be a great leader? Poor old thing's worn out, he's doing correspondence courses in leadership. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks very it much. It could be Roy. me. 